So this week we're taking on a project for somebody. I think it has to do with a basically a DIY CNC. I hope he posts a video of his, his build after a while, after he gets done I'd hope. His name was Paul and Paul thank you for giving me this opportunity to make this stuff for you. So in this project we're using stock size thicknesses. So we're not milling everything down and clearing it all out. It's a little bit harder to work with, especially with a CNC machine. So he gave me a bunch of rough cut raw stock sizes and I'm just going to cut them down to where they're a little bit closer and then I'm going to put them in the mill and cut them all to size on each side. So on this one we're just going to buzz off these corners right here and then we're going to flip it clear around, buzz off the corners and then profile so this will only be a two operation part. So he sent me a bearing to basically check, it's supposed to be just a slip fit, so that works out pretty good. I used the stock to leave feature in Fusion 360 and until I got it to where it was good enough to just slip right on in. I love these cool paths. It looks like some great gassy artwork or something. Like I was saying, these parts when they're already cut to the thickness, like there's nothing to hold on to in the vise, they're a lot more time consuming to machine. Like I had to stick the one side out of the vise and get the contours on the outside. And that was really the hardest part in milling it to size was also one of the, the harder parts to do. So they're just a little bit more time consuming than normal. However, this is the first time I've ever done that. So that's a very good experience for me. And I think they were fairly low tolerance parts. So, or at least that's what, he said, but I got them as close as I could to the tolerance spec, or to my tolerance spec, I really wasn't given one. Turned out really good, I think. This is my favorite one. Bearing goes in both sides, slip fit bearing, both sides. Just looks cool. And these are mirrored parts, exactly opposite of each other. I know that was a fairly short video, but there wasn't a whole lot to it. I know I don't normally show the cam part, the programming part of uh, these videos, 
However, starting here soon, I'm going to start a series called Program That Part. And it's going to go along with the parts that I machine. It's just going to be a completely separate video. And hopefully that'll help me to become a better programmer and maybe help somebody else. I don't know. I'm just going to put it out there and, and do it just because it sounds like fun and they sound like fairly easy videos to make. I mean, it would just be me in Fusion 360 programming the part. There would be no me in front of the machine or anything like that. It would just be go straight in, program the part, and be done with it. And that would go, like I said, go along with parts that I actually have machined or will machine. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.